Welcome to GRC 377, Web and Print Publishing, Screencast, The History of the Graphic Arts, Episode 4, Industrialized Printing. This era would see the development of photography, which would capture our world, and of the impact of the Industrial Revolution, which brought steam and then later electrical power to printing. It also saw the invention of mechanical devices to set type. French artist and chemist Louis Daguerre developed one of the first methods of photography in 1802. Daguerre first exposed silver-coated copper plates to iodine, obtaining silver iodide. Then he exposed them to light for several minutes. He then coated the plate with mercury vapor heated to 75 degrees Celsius to amalgamate the mercury with the silver, finally fixing the image in salt water. Though the method produced quality and artistic looking images, other more easily used methods would soon replace it. He is credited with taking the first photo of a person in 1839. Commenting on a daguerreotype of young Abraham Lincoln, taken in 1843, he describes in a letter, It would astonish, if not amuse, the older citizens to learn that I, a stranger, friendless, uneducated, penniless boy working on a flatboat at $10 per month, have been put down here as the candidate of pride, wealth, and aristocratic family distinction. Photography would become increasingly popular, both later on in the graphic arts, but also as an art form, and as a way for us to capture images of our world and the powerful meaning that relate to us. The use of photography during the Civil War is a good example of this. Matthew Brady presented an exhibition of photographs from the Civil War Battle of Antietam in his New York gallery entitled The Dead of Antietam. Many of the images in this presentation were graphic photographs of corpse, making the presentation totally new to America. This was the first time that anyone had seen the realities of war firsthand, abate photographs as distinct from previous artistic renderings. After the war, many of the glass plates were used to create greenhouses. With the advent of the age of steam, the application of steam power to machines came about. Frederick Koning, at about the same time as Daguerre's invention of photography, built a steam-powered wooden press which increased the production of printing vastly in contrast to what could be produced using the standard method of printing developed by Gutenberg which by this time had been in use for 400 years. Soon to follow in 1843 was the invention of a web press. These presses use a continuous roll of paper and are what most people would associate with a newspaper press. Obviously, this increased the speed and productiveness of newspapers, allowing for greater distribution and the influence of the press. Richard Ho, an English-born American mechanic, who with his brother-in-laws, Peter and Matthew Smith, designed and created the press using steam, which led to the establishment in New York City, a manufactory of printing presses. It's not uncommon today to find a whole press in newspaper press rooms. Carl Kleist was a Czech painter, photographer, caricaturist, and illustrator, and lived in Budapest and Vienna. He is known as the inventor of gravure, sometimes called photogravure, printing method. He worked many, many years trying to improve technology of picture reproduction and had arrived at this method of printing, which uses a series of dots etched into a metal cylinder for the image to be printed from. Its use today is for high volume and high quality color printing. Typesetting was a laborious process, assembling individual characters into words, lines, and paragraphs. You remember Gutenberg's invention? A mechanicalized method was needed to meet the demands of the printing industry that was growing. This provided potential for those that could come up with a method. The linotype machine cast lines of type called slugs, made from melted lead. Otmar Mergenthaler, 
a German created a typesetting machine in 1896 that utilized the keyboard and matrices that were filled with molten lead to produce individual lines of type. Prior to Mergenthaler's invention of the linotype, no newspaper in the world had more than eight pages. The machine became the standard of the graphics industry. A competitor to the linotype was the Langston monotype. Even Mark Twain got into the act. After many years and most of his fortune he gained from his books, an inferior, impractical machine, the page typesetting machine, failed to gain acceptance, primarily due to many mechanical failures. By the end of the century, four primary printing methods have been established. Lithography, relief printing, gravure, and screen printing. Quality ink and paper, along with powered printing equipment and mechanical devices, would meet the demands on the dawn of a new century.